Hello guys, so I um, wanted to talk about um, the depression. So, I mean, a lot of people go through this stage, uh, probably when they're a teenager, they get depressed. But a uh, person isn't allowed to be depressed because uh, depression a lot of times leads to someone uh, doing a virus. Um, a lot of times the strategy of the satan is you do an avera, he gets you depressed about it, and then you don't feel like putting on film that day or davening. But really, you should overcome that depression. Even though you did an avera, you should overcome that depres depression and and go daven, go learn. Even though you did an avera, do, you, don't, you, you, should, you are not allowed to be depressed. It's not that you shouldn't. You're not allowed to be depressed because it leads to a person doing a verse. Um, so, uh, so you should. I mean, ways to overcome depression could be. I don't know, maybe by learning. Learning probably is the best way to overcome depression. Um, I mean. Some people, uh, I don't know, listen to music when they're depressed. But then uh, when a person ends up listening to all this rap and all this trash, that's just, that's maybe even worse than being depressed. Because you're not allowed to listen to this type of music because um, you, you hear all this stuff that the rappers talk about. And uh, it's all of that stuff is um, not allowed. And uh, for some reason, people can't understand why you're not allowed to listen to this type of rap. Probably only, probably the only type of rap or whatever that's allowed is Nissan Black. I mean, is I I'd even recommend people to listen to him, but you're really not allowed to listen to any other rap other than him because he's the only like kosher uh, rapper, I guess you could say. Um, so, really, you should only be listening to, like, Jewish songs. It doesn't necessarily mean listen to, like, I don't know, Yaakov Shreki or whatever, but, like, you should at least not listen to, like, songs that have singing in them, like, by Ananju. The, 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 probably the... The boundary is, you could only like listen to like electrified music, like with no words, or that's probably like the like the borderline. Not allowed to listen to any songs with words by Gaim. Either way, either way, you shouldn't really be listening to this type of electrified music because it's like, oh, uh, it's kind of. Uh, Gives you the same type of feeling of not listening to Jewish songs. The real, like, best songs are the ones that were made by the great rabbis that lived in previous generations. They made these amazing songs that could lift someone up, and make them happy, bring them closer to Hashem, bring them, uh, like, spiritually higher, and that's that's really what you should be listening to if you listen to music. I believe uh, um, there's a story with uh, Rav Avadia, like the, the um, what's it called, uh, the, one of the Bachram, or I think, or someone like asked, like, oh, why aren't there any, uh, really any laws regarding music? Um, and Avadia responded like, you shouldn't even be listening to music when the Beis Mikdash has been destroyed for the past 2,000 years. So really the only excuse to listen to music is if it's going to spiritually elevate you. If not, you really shouldn't be listening to music. Especially if you listen to this type of music that leaves you in a depressed state, but it comforts you kind of. That's 100% not allowed. Um, and, 
I mean, if you, the best person to talk to, if you're depressed, you have any uh, problems going on in your life, is a rabbi. Psychologists are okay. Generally, they don't work. But rabbis, if you listen to them and what they say, you, their, their advice is the best. There's no better advice you could get other than a, from a rabbi. Um, so those are my recommendations to overcome depression, but you're not allowed to stay depressed. That's literally just a tool from the satan. He will use it against you. The whole feeling of depression is the satan playing with you. There's no other... And that there's no like other reason why you're depressed. It's just uh, something tricks you to like, oh yeah, this happened, and then uh, whatever. I, I lost, I lost money, or I failed this in this class. I give up, and whatever. Even if you do fail, or whatever, in certain classes, or whatever. I mean, I don't know what other uh, any like private. <laughs> stuff that's happening in people's personal life, but you just, even if something happens, just overcome that depression. It's, you still have to keep on putting on film, going to the uh, Minyanim, and uh, whatever. So, hope uh, this uh, is some video that will help out with people to overcome their depression, and hopefully no one should be depressed. Have a great day.